What's up guys, Alex here. Now, iOS 17 has been out for a little while now, and if you're noticing that your phone is not getting the battery life that you want, or maybe you just want to prolong the battery life on your phone running iOS 17, I'm gonna show you guys 10 tips and tricks that you can change in order to prolong the battery life of your iPhone. So let's get started with a brand new setting that came to the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro. Now this new setting is going to limit your battery capacity to 80%. So you will not be able to charge your phone to 100%. It will cap at 80%. Now this will not obviously prolong your battery during the day, but what it will do is prolong your battery life over the years by keeping your lithium ion battery as healthy as possible. Now to enable it, what you wanna do is go to your phone settings, scroll down to battery, battery health and charging, and then go to charge optimization and if you have an iphone 15 or 15 pro you'll see 80 percent limit right here now this is a pretty controversial setting and i made a full video about it so if you want to check it out i'll leave it linked in the description below so definitely go ahead and check it out and then make the decision of whether or not you want to use this feature all right guys the second battery saving tip has to do with live wallpapers if you're using a live wallpaper this is definitely going to use up more battery because every time there is a graphic playing here it has to fire up your phone's gpu and that uses battery and also these live wallpapers like the weather or the astronomy one require your device's location so it's always using your phone's location to keep the information updated and this is definitely going to eat up more battery so if you want to save some battery on your phone i would definitely suggest you go ahead and use a static wallpaper like a picture instead or one of the other ones available on the iphone and that will definitely save you some battery life now the next tip has to do with the always on display so you just saw that my lock screen went dark and my always on display is now on but by default the way the always on display works is you actually have your wallpaper still showing is just a little bit dim and believe it or not that is also using a bit of battery having your display dimmed like that so what we're gonna do is turn it off so it's just black and all we see is the time and date so to do that we're gonna go into our phone settings we're gonna go to display and brightness and then in here you'll see an option for always on display and you'll see that show wallpaper is active but if we deactivate this and then we go to our always on display you can see now it's completely black all we see is the date and the time and that is definitely going to save you some battery life so definitely go ahead and make that change now the next battery saving tip has to do with airdrop because in iOS 17, there's a lot of cool new features that have to do with AirDrop, like contact sharing, where it uses proximity to share your contact information with another iPhone. But this, of course, uses battery because your AirDrop has to be active and always scanning for devices. So what we can do is go to our control center, tap on the connections tile right there, and then you'll see AirDrop right there. By default, it's set to contacts only. That is the default behavior. But if we tap and hold on it, what we can do is turn receiving off. And now your phone is no longer going to be consistently scanning for devices is nearby and that's definitely going to save you some battery now if you ever do need airdrop or you need to share a contact card you can just come in here and easily activate it just for the time that you need it do your exchange of information or transfer some files and then go back and disable it again. Now for this next battery saving tip, we're gonna go into our phone settings. We're gonna go down to general and we're gonna select background app refresh. Now, if you have your phone set up by default, everything in here is going to be enabled. And what this is going to do is allow all of these apps to run in the background and check for new data and updates, even if you're not using them. So they're just gonna keep refreshing to serve you the latest data. But you definitely don't need all of these apps constantly running in the background, refreshing their data and burn battery life so I would definitely suggest you go through this entire list and disable everything that you don't really care about and don't worry you will still get notifications so if you disable something like Gmail and somebody sends you an email you will still get a notification on your phone it's not like this just isn't going to notify you anytime you get an email or a notification from any of these applications all right guys the next iOS 17 battery saving tip has to do with the widget so we got a lot of new cool widget updates in iOS 17 for example we can now interact with the widgets directly on our home screen so we can tap on any of these reminders and you can see that they get marked as complete and widgets have always already been a pretty big battery drain and now they're an even bigger battery drain especially if you use ones that require to be updated in the background or things that use your location so anything like the weather widget that constantly needs to be updated or these stock tracking ones or the news is definitely going to drain your battery so if you don't need any of these widgets or you don't really use them that often i would suggest you go ahead and just completely remove these from your home screen and that's definitely going to save you some battery life just because these aren't constantly running in the background so if you don't really use them go ahead and remove them. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to talk about is actually a user error. And this is something that I still see to this day people doing over and over again, despite a lot of people knowing that they shouldn't do this. I don't know, maybe it's just force of habit, but what it has to do with is closing out all of these background apps running in the background of your phone. So if you're swiping any of these away, you need to stop doing that because Apple, even Google and Android has come out saying that this actually uses 
more battery life than it saves. And the thought process behind closing these out is a lot of people think that, wow, I have so many background applications running. This must be using a lot of my phone's battery. But what people don't understand is iOS and Android and just modern day phones are very, very good at app management. Everything that you have running here in the background is in a low powered state and it will just stay that way until you actually relaunch or need to use that application again and then it will launch it much quicker. But if you close this applications out and then you have to go back and reopen them, your phone has to use a lot more processing power and battery to fully reload those applications from scratch. The only time you need to go back and close any of these applications out is if one of these apps just stopped working or it's just acting weird, then you can go back into your background applications, close out that application and then hopefully you can relaunch it and all of those issues will be fixed. But other than that, just leave everything running in the background. Your phone will manage everything on its own. The next battery saving tip has to do with Siri. So what we're going to do is go to our phone settings. We're going to scroll down to Siri and search. And then in here at the top, you'll see it says listen for. Now mine is off, but you might have yours enabled to Siri or Hey Siri. And that way what's going to happen is anytime you say Hey Siri, it will invoke your assistant. Now what this is doing is constantly using your phone's microphones to listen to those code words. So that is using battery life because your microphones are constantly on and waiting for you to say Siri or Hey Siri. So I have mine off because I really don't ever use my phone like that. I don't say Hey Siri to my phone. And if I ever do need Siri, I just hold long hold the power button and it will invoke my assistant that way. So unless you really like to invoke Siri by saying Siri or Hey Siri to your phone, I'll go ahead and set this to off and then that will just turn off your microphones and save a little bit of battery life. Now something else your phone does that burns a lot of battery life is constantly send you notifications. So what we're going to do is go to our phone settings. We're going to go to notifications and then scroll down here until you see all of your applications right there. So what you want to do is just go through all of these apps and disable notifications for things that you don't care about. So maybe you don't use Facebook or maybe you just use it for marketplace, but you don't really care about the notifications from Facebook. What you want to do is go ahead and just disable these notifications and now your phone is going to stop sending you notifications or maybe for example photos why would you need notifications from photos i really don't know so what we're going to do is go ahead and disable it now every time you install an application your phone will actually ask you if you want notifications from those applications and i know a lot of times people are just hitting next 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 because they want to install the application quicker but be very careful because if you're allowing notifications from all of these applications it's constantly going to use battery by pushing these notifications out for you it's also really distracting and just leads you to using your phone more than you really need to. So it distracts you, it gets you on your phone, and the next thing you know, you're scrolling through all of these different applications or you're on TikTok again. So what you should do is go through here, go through your entire app list and just disable notifications for things that you really don't care about. All right, guys, and the last battery saving tip that you can do on your phone is to actually use low power mode. A lot of people don't even use this. I don't know why, but if you go to your control center, you can see we have low power mode right there and we just enabled it on our phone. And what this will do is put your phone in a low state of power, saving you some battery life by doing things like bringing down your display brightness, bringing down the refresh rate, change some of the visuals on your phone and just handle background tasks a little bit differently. So if you are in a pinch and your phone is running low on battery or you know that you're not going to be near a charger for a really long time and you need to save on battery life as much as possible definitely go ahead and enable this now if you don't have the option for low power mode here in your control center what you want to do is go to your phone settings go down to control center and then you'll see it down here under more controls uh, low power mode it's right there so just go ahead and hit the plus icon and it will move it up here and now it will be accessible to you from your control center but there you go guys those are some of the battery saving tips that you can do on your iphone if you want to prolong the battery life of your iphone i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe for future videos to come and i'll see you in the next one peace